All right. I'm Chris Durbin. I've been with DOTD for what, 24 years in December. Uh, 16 has been in final audit. I started out doing audits, and now I'm the audit supervisor. So basically what we do is we take, once, once you're finished getting all your payments straight and everybody's, you know, paid and everything like that, we still need that paperwork that you collected over the project to be submitted so we can do our audit on it to make sure we're spending Mary's money correctly. So the purpose of this, of, of my presentation, is to help the uh, LPA, PE, and responsible charge understand the process of the project closeout and what is needed to be submitted with the final audit. I'm sorry, with the final estimate. So how it works is the LPA does all the work, creates the final estimate, he submits that pack, that whole package, the 2059, all the uh, pay estimates, the change orders, anything that they have that you've collected, submits it to the project coordinator. The coordinator reviews it, gets with the a lab, they do all, they do all their uh, reviews and everything, and then they give it back to the uh, LPAPE, and then they submit it, or the, or the CNI submits it to the construction audit section, my group. So what is a final estimate? So basically a final estimate is a summation of everything that's been paid over the project. Uh, you generate it just like you do a partial estimate, and instead of clicking uh, partial, you would, or progress, I'm sorry, you would click final. And then there should, be no, uh, there should be no money on the final. It doesn't get finally approved by me until we've went through the audit and make sure everything's been paid correctly. Once everything's been paid correctly, we get ready to close out the project. I will click the final, uh, I will approve the final estimate, and then it'll be uh, closed out. So as Renise pointed out earlier, uh, a good practice uh, before you start, when you start getting everything together and you start submitting your paperwork, and you know, you're getting, checking to make sure everything's good to go, uh, check that 37 screen, or I'm sorry, the uh, summary of final quantity screen. Uh, it'll tell you uh, if you need to do another final change order, because there might be some uh, items that are out are over 5%, and that, that's usually why this is red. Uh, now, in this case, on this project, there was it was only a one cent difference. Uh, we don't care worry too much about one cent because it's a rounding. Site manager does some kind of weird rounding thing once you go so many uh, places past the decimal, so it, it just kind of throws it out and makes it, it throws it one cent off uh, sometimes. Uh, it just depends on the item and however you pay it. Um, but anything more than I don't know a dollar or so, you should maybe do a change or check your check your over under on report, and that should give you an idea of what you need to do with the neck with the final change order to bring those quantities up so you can be in the green. So uh, another practice, uh, one DWR should be uh, a final DWR should be done once you get ready to submit your project uh, with your just your final references on. So what a final reference is is where um, your totals are at for your items that you're paying. So if you have a field book, it would be, example, it would be um, uh, field book number whatever, page number whatever, that's the, that's the final, uh, that's the total for, that shows the total for estimate, I mean for item uh, 502, asphalt. Or if you have spreadsheets, you know, a lot of people go into spreadsheets and get away from the old orange field books or whatever, and you can also, so you can just put C spreadsheet on your final, on your DWR for your final reference. Um, so no quantity is entered on this DWR. It's just basically, it's, it's, it's site manager is going to pull that and it's going to put it in our, uh, in our audit workbook and it's going to show, you know, where everything is located. And when you're doing your DWR, this is the, the location is where you would put your, uh, your final reference. So make sure, um, site manager is a really old program and it's really coded, really, really weird. Uh, if you don't have that FR in front of the, uh, the, the book or C spreadsheets or, and it'll kick it, it won't show up. So you have to make sure you have to put that FR in front of it. For some reason, when they created Site Manager, they felt it was important for that to be there and for it to show up in our report, that's where it pulls from. So if it doesn't have the FR, it's not going to show up and then we're, gonna, we're not going to accept it until you have uh, the final references showing up. As I said before, the estimate is generated the same as a partial. Uh, you're just going to click final instead of progress, and you approve it, and everything else is the same. Uh, 
always before you approve it, you should probably make sure you, you check if there's no, make sure there's no money or anything being paid on it. Sometimes uh, it, it can it can come up to where it'll show a, an amount due. And um, if you do have an amount due, you should reject your estimate or delete your estimate and regenerate another partial estimate to make sure every, and then it should be zero again once you do another final estimate. So um, when you when you submit your project to the coordinator, your DOTD coordinator, um, what what they'll do is they'll print out the summary of final quantities and the recap of weather and work days. I don't I don't know um, why y'all can't print them out, but they for some reason they prefer the coordinators to do it. So they print them out. They'll put it in the package. Uh, Always, always good to make sure that the DOTD coordinator has signed it, uh, and that uh, has all the signatures on the on the 2059 as well, because sometimes they'll overlook uh, the lab engineer overlook the signature page and he'll forget to sign, and then you have to go back once you bring it up to us and we'll be like, oh, you forgot the signature here, you have to go back to the lab, get it signed, and then resubmit it to us. So, uh, if stipulated damages are assessed on your um, Recap of weather and work days. Then you're going to need three signatures. You're going to need the L, you're going to sign it. The LPAPE is going to sign it. The coordinator is going to sign it, and the district area engineer is going to sign it. Uh, like I said, make sure when you pick up your package and you pick up your uh, paperwork from the coordinator, make sure that those three signatures are on it. If there are stipulated damages assessed on the project. Now, if there are no damages assessed, you only need two estimates. You would sign it, and then the coordinator would sign it. That's all you need. So what starts this uh, submittal of paperwork? The final, inspe the final inspection starts the final acceptance process. Once uh, the final acceptance is, I mean, final inspection is entered into SharePoint, it prompts me to, ge to generate the final acceptance letter. Once I generate that letter and the chief signs it, you have 30 days to get those records submitted. Uh, projects submitted after the deadline will be noted on the consultant's rating. Uh, if for some reason, I know there's there's a delay sometimes with paperwork and you know from the lab or whatever, or you know whoever the, the consultant or, or the entity or whatever is the, the, the delay. Then all you need to do is send us an email and say, hey, look, we're delayed because of this reason, or or you know we're not going to be able to make make the deadline because this happened and we're trying to fix it and we're gonna get as soon as we can which is no problem we can we, you know we we'll work with you we're willing to but we got to know you know if we don't know then we can't work with you we can't say oh well nobody contacted us so we're going to have to hold it against you so what do you what is required with with the um with the final estimate um a lot of this can be found in the construct in the construction contract administration manual um under project closeout, I think there was a hand. There should have been a handout. I sent a Courtney a handout with the. Uh, it's in the back left side. Yeah, so that's everything. That's that's the most recent one. I sent it to her. I revised it a couple months ago, I think, and I sent it to her so they have a kind of a a, a guideline of what you're going to need. And of course, every project is different. You may not need some of those things on that on that uh, checklist, but it's always good to check and make sure you you know you have everything uh, we do require that uh, all these projects that are coming through LPA are hand carried to us uh, none can be uh, sent in by the mail by FedEx we've had those before uh, we prefer them to be hand carried we actually we require them to be hand carried not prefer we require them to be hand carried and that's I'm sorry that's just the policy we come up with when this was all started um, I guess for a different because everybody's there's so many parties involved um, with this you know so we would have to if you mail it to us we'd have to mail it back to you and then some that has a that's a problem with stuff getting lost we've even had stuff get lost on regular DOT projects you know come into the mail from our districts and it sit downstairs for six months nobody knows what happened to it it just gets put, it gets put in a different room so like I said uh, you know that way we can address what's what you're missing you know if you're missing something from let's say you're missing something from the entity you can say okay i need to go to the entity and get this or if you're missing something from your firm i can go to i can go get the signature for this for this uh from this person or from the coordinator 
maybe they forgot to, like I said, forgot to sign the recap or forgot to sign, or the lab engineer forgot to sign the uh, 2059. You can go get that, and that's why, I guess that's why they come up with this policy. <clears throat> so we do require, when, you, when you're going to hand carry this project up to us, uh, that you must make an appointment first. Uh, we don't want everybody just showing up at one time uh, with an overwhelming Miss April. She, d she does a very good job of checking in these projects, but like I said, we don't want to overwhelm her because she's also getting st regular DOTD projects, and she will make an appointment with you to uh, get this submitted as soon as possible. Like I said, she'll, she'll check it while you're there, and she'll address any missing signatures or any missing documents that you, that you might need. Okay, it's the Shellback's turn. The LPA responsible charge can mail all the final project closeout paperwork to DOTD. False. Oh, false. You know, and I'm going to kind of address that a little bit, Chris, is that sure. that hand delivery is, is assuring that you both agree that you gave DOTD these documents. There's a check and it's done. You can mail anything you want. And then do they can you can say oh I sent that to DOTD and do I didn't get it the hand delivery thing is an assurance that it's all checked in it's hand delivered Miss April has checked everything and if it's not all good she gives it all back to you that way it's all back in your court um, you have it all you got to bring it all in all well, complete and of course to uh, what you're saying, Ms. Mary, is we do allow some exceptions. You know, if there's a missing signature and you are the responsible charge and you bring it in and you can sign, uh, you can sign it, we'll let you sign it up there, like for plans, exam for example, as built. Sometimes a page will get missed on the as built. And if you're the uh, responsible charge, we'll let you sign the as built. Or whatever it may be. It may just be another document that you're missing. So, what is required? Uh, some of the documents that are required, I'm going to give you a kind of an example. Of some of the things we require like I said the list has more detail to it and it uh, it varies from project to project but uh, what is ex uh, so that would be the summary final quantities would be the first one which is just basically once you generate that final estimate it puts everything that you took in that you paid on those uh, on those estimates in the previous and it'll put it all together and put it on one form and then the recap of weather and work days which needs to be signed of course uh, that's generated like I said when the final is generated Sign and corrected as-built plans. All these, all the, every sheet in the as-built plans must be signed in ink. Must be signed in ink. And they are to be uh, checked when submitted to us. Uh, Ms. April will go through and check all of every sheet on the plans. If they are missing, if one, like I said, if one is missing a signature, we'll let you sign it up there if you're the responsible charge. If not, we will send it back. Uh, if your project has any correspondence, we've started uh, accepting correspondence on thumb drives. I know that some projects can have a lot of correspondence, and it was just a, it's just a hassle to go through all this paperwork. So we do um, allow you to submit correspondence on thumb drives now, if that's applicable. If you don't have any correspondence, then you're obviously not going to need it. Layout. This is a big thing that a lot of people have problems with. Um, whether they don't get a book or they lose a book or whatever it may be. Um, and then now I know a lot of, a lot of people are going to uh, the electronic survey. So if you do electronic survey, you can submit any kind of the printout that your, that your uh, machine or your uh, data or your program has. You can print that out and submit that as construction layout. Um, now we do have a policy that if you were, you were issued a book and it was lost, then two letters will be needed. One from the responsible charge stating what happened to the book and one from the coordinator stating that the uh, work was performed according to the specifications. The letter from the responsible charge must be original and must be notarized. Let me say it again. Must be original and must be notarized. I have people submitted where it was copies and it was notarized or it wasn't notarized. It has to be notarized and original. Uh, so. Uh, certificates of release. So this is anything that comes off the project that you pull off the project. We need a release for that, stating where it went and you know how much, what it, what, what item it was paid under, and all of that. So the 2059 is the old term. The new term is the ATM Audit of Tested Materials. I'm sure they went over that earlier, this today. Um, we do require that. 
that be submitted uh, with, like I said, uh, once again, all the signatures from the lab engineer, the coordinator, and the responsible charge. Everybody, make sure they have, you know, all the original signatures and everything on there is um, good to go. So what is in the 2059? So we, what we basic, uh, what we need is any of the asphalt information, so any of the plant reports, the roadway reports, uh, job mixes, anything like that. Um, if there's any steel being used in a project, we need that, um, for, except for like in catch basins and bridges, anything like that. Uh, if any right of way is required on uh, acquired on the uh, project, we must have a receipt where it's recorded in the courthouse and the and the map and the plat map wherever you know, you know the, the new right of way was uh, documented. Change orders. This is something we've just changed recently. This is something brand new. Uh, sign change orders are no longer needed, um, but it, but we do require that you make sure you go through the project and. There are no change orders left in pending or draft. Make sure they're either approved or, or denied. They should say denied or they should say approved on the uh, change order re uh, report in site manager. Um, field records. This is a big thing that we have, we've been having a lot of issues with lately. Uh, we, will, we constantly have issues with this. So like I said, we can, you will take spreadsheets. I know a lot of people are starting to go to spreadsheets and go away from the old field books, but some people still do like the old numbered field books. We do take those. We just ask that either it be if it's field books or spreadsheets that they be filled out completely. That's that's stations, that's uh, dimensions, that's dates, that's uh, the inspector uh, initials or signature, anything like that. Asphalt um, asphalt and fuel adjustments is a big thing that uh, we look for. We do a lot of checking on. Um, if your project had does have this. Uh, the calculate the, the calculation uh, the calculation formula can be found in a special provision. I think it's under section E, if I'm not mistaken. Either D or E. It used to be D. I think they moved it to E now, so it, it's in there. Um, police invoices. If there's any uh, police traffic control on the uh, project and y'all paying for the police, we need those invoices from the police uh, saying that they that you know that we uh, that they were on the project. Uh, Ms. April will verify that the traffic control logs were entered um, in the site manager uh, or into the app now. There's not site manager anymore. They put it in the app now. She will verify that that uh, all the that all the traffic control logs are in the app and that everything looks good. Um, and then just a transmittal sheet. Uh, it's just a list of everything that y'all are submitting. That way. You know, we can go through and say, hey, okay, if we if we don't have something, we can say, oh, well, they did submit it. What happened to it? Now, that's all. That's all we need. Um, and before you submit the um, before you submit the final, please make sure the final acceptance letter is done. Uh, we've had a lot. We've had a couple of issues where they're not. They're trying to submit the uh, the final estimate package, and the estimate. I mean, the acceptance is not done yet. Uh, we do. Uh, I think that the coordinator has to put that in SharePoint. You hand them the final inspection, and I think they enter that in SharePoint. That way, I can do the final acceptance letter. So why would we reject your project? Why would we make you take it all the way back with you to your office? Uh, traffic control, like I said, uh, traffic control dives were omitted or not done. Um, now I know sometimes the system goes down and if you have to do paper logs, those should be being scanned into FileNet, our repository for, for documents. Uh, we, we will check that if, we, if there are no uh, digital ones in uh, the, the control app, in the uh, traffic control app. Uh, the final reference is added incorrectly. Uh, once again, it's going back to if it doesn't have the FR in it, we cannot see that the final references were done. So we will reject and say, oh, the final references were not done. You can be like, we did put them in. But if you, some people forget to put the FR in front of it. Make sure you put the FR in front of it. That way, site manager picks it up and it shows that the final references were added correctly. And that's not, and we don't have to uh, go through all that again. Uh, every sheet of the as-built plans are not signed or renumbered correctly. Um, like I said, we will let you sign it up there if you miss a couple pages or if you, you need to sign up, uh, you know, something, whatever. We'll let you sign it up there, and that's no big deal. Um, renumbering, that is actually a policy for our, um, for our general files where they scan our, our plans into the plan room, and they actually ask you to renumber them correctly. Um, 
as bills are printed on two sides we do not we do it's like I said they scan them in so they do not need to be uh, printed on two sides please only uh, print your uh, print your as built on one side uh, correspondence were printed on two sides that like I said we, we that's why the reason we stopped uh, taking doc uh, paper uh, correspondence because a lot of things were getting printed two-sided and it was hard to keep track of everything so uh, we said we'll just go to thumb drives and that's what that's what we're doing as far as correspondence goes um, now originally let me say original documentation to be submitted um, I know a lot of times that these projects you know they they change hands a lot and a lot of paperwork gets um, misplaced if I can say that um, if you had it originally and you ha and you somehow have wind up with a copy of it we will take the copy it, we're trying to ease off on that because a lot of people hold the hold their projects oh well we can't turn it in because you know we don't have an original a document and it's missing a release or it's missing a uh, I don't know it, um, a letter or something like that we'll take it um, we're not we're trying to ease up on that a little bit just so everybody can get these projects turned in because rather you turn them in with a copy than let them sit on the sit out there and get a late go on the late list and just sit out there for years because it makes a headache once you try to turn these in so if your project has retainage on it project uh, it project retainage will not be released until the final audit is complete and I close out that final estimate once that's done I will release the uh, the, the release the retainage to financial services and they will make sure that there are no liens on the project and that everything is uh, uh, submitted and they have everything they need and they will release the retainage once that is done and that is my information I think I've, I've maybe emailed some of you have through email before and phone calls with a couple people uh, that's Miss April's information she will um, like I said, call her and she will set you up an appointment. Uh, if you have any um, questions, you can email her also. She will be happy to answer any questions you may have. You may, uh, have. And her uh, room, her, her cubicle is 510U. That is where projects will be due. Yes, sir. Uh, really quick, I have heard that once you bring your, your handle over to DOTD for this uh, final um, review, if they find one thing, they close it up and give it back to you. Does she now go through everything with you to make sure that you're you're picking up everything? Like, you know, okay, I need to have this sign, but let's continue because there might be something else that can be signed, and then those are the only two issues. So what she'll do is once you once you contact her uh -huh. with your uh, saying I need to make an appointment, I want to turn this final in. Uh -huh. What she'll do is she'll go through the project. She'll make her a little list of everything that that you need for that project, and then once you bring that project in. At your appointment time, she'll go through that little list and with you to make sure that you have everything that you need. So it's best to check to check with her to make sure you have everything and make sure everything is is good. Once you you know once you're ready to submit, uh, that checklist that that the handout right. it should have every it should it should be, it's pretty detailed. Once you if you follow that, you should have everything. And you shouldn't it shouldn't be in rejection. But like I said, some sometimes the signature gets missed. Or you know a page will get missed. Whether you know it can't like I say because it changes hands a lot. And there's a lot of people involved. You know we're willing to work with you. But I guess that's my question: is if you're missing a page, from what I was told in the past, once that page is missing, they stop, she stops, closes it up, gives it back to you, and says that's it. Do they still continue to say, all right, let's see if there might be another page missing, or if that's the only singular? If no, she'll she'll address everything that you're missing. So if you're missing if you're missing more than one page, she's just not gonna stop and say, Oh, you're missing one page, I'm just, I'm just gonna send it back to you. Yeah. No, she's gonna go through everything. Perfect. So she's gonna say you're missing this, this, and this, or you're missing just this. Please bring it back with another and you will have to make another appointment with her. Good. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions?